Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to talk about splint energy, uh, Leo Jin, which is energy which is moving in two different directions. And it's one of the, the eight essential energies of, of Taiji. And is the, those eight actually are kind of what marks Taiji as its own thing. There are lots of other martial arts and, and internal arts, but there's something essential about something we call Taiji Tran. And that, uh, and one of the things that is sort of commonly held in agreement is that these eight energies, the uh, Ba Men, um, are the um, what holds it together. And recently we've been talking a lot about. Uh, elbow gin and shoulder gin. And um, today we're going to go to split energy. So we're kind of working backwards with these. And uh, uh, this is generally considered to be the six of the eight. We've done seven and eight. So um, the idea is that the whenever it, we're separating and moving in two different directions, then we have this split. And you can see it at a, at a very gross level where you just kind of like say doing like, like an isometric exercise where you're either you're trying to pull them apart and you're activating your muscles to, to, to do that. And that's, that's fine. And from the outside, it kind of looks like the same thing, but it's not. What, we, what we're looking for here is there's a gin that um, amplifies the effective power that you can get from that. So the, um, whenever like the arms are moving and you're just doing it by your muscles, you're contracting and you're using muscles which are not terribly strong to, to get the job done in your, the leverage is all wrong, as we've discussed many times. If you're you're moving from the shoulder, you got this nice long lever, and you have a fulcrum up here, and it the it, it just doesn't work in terms of, of of leverage. Whereas, if we change the the point of focus and change the way we're doing it, so that rather than using localized muscular contraction, i.e you know, your shoulder muscles or your arm muscles, but you're actually activating the connective tissue system, cool stuff happens. We get into a whole body energetic connection, which then also links up the connective tissue system and the whole body works as, as one unit and the power is amplified as a result of that. And also, Beyond the power, there's an ease and a grace of movement that comes with that. So that whenever we can, we get that whole connective tissue system activated, that one of the qualities that uh, seems to emerge is something that uh, is called tensegrity, which is where the tension, the surface tension of whatever it is, whatever the structure is, is dissipating the energy rather than um, uh, the structural members. So in, in plain English, you can think of it like a, like a circus tent where you pull the tent in opposite, opposing directions and you stretch it taut so that the, you don't need a lot of brick and mortar to, uh, to uh, make that structure strong. It is strong and is also very light and very flexible. So your body has this connective tissue system, which does the same thing. And consequently, you get this a resilient strength that is uh, different than the, uh, the muscular strength that, that uh, comes with, uh, with a lot of other activities. And um, in the classics, they talk about, you know, you want to train the sinews, not the, not the muscles. And a distinction in there is made because the sinews are referring to the tendons and ligaments and, and, but also into the fascia because that is what connects up the whole, 
the whole system. So in split energy, we are um, activating something more, we're activating gins. And so it's a little, um, it's a complex gin in that you are asking the body to do two things, opposing things at the same time. So that requires being able to, to expand your awareness into a super conscious state so that you're able to then do more than one thing and do it well. And um, so the, um, it also requires getting the muscles out of the way, which is um, easier said than done because as most of us have experienced it, it, just telling the muscles to relax is not very effective and in, in in, in actually getting something done, particularly whenever it's under, under stress, when we're asking to do something like say, throw a punch or, or move someone out of the way or whatever, whatever, whenever there's actual physical, a physical encounter going on, then we, um, we have a tendency to revert back into muscular tension. So learning to training the, the body mind to be able to go there, to go to gin rather than, than physical strength in um, stressful situations starts by doing it in non-stressful situations. Say like when you're doing a Taiji form or, or a Qigong or something like that. And to be able to learn to recognize the insubstantial quality that comes about with accessing gin as opposed to Li or physical crude muscular force. So, um, you know, the, uh, if I take a, a towel and like I'm pulling it apart, you know, separating it out there. And if I'm using my physical force, you know, I can feel it in my shoulders, I can feel it in my arms, et cetera. And there's a, there's a definite um, muscular tension that, that occurs there. So what we want to do is be able to activate the gin in two separate gins. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm getting coherent, you know, and as I've demonstrated many times, you know, pointing and reaching with the index finger is one way of, of getting coherent very quickly. But then going back to some of the stuff we've been playing recently, the reaching with the elbow and letting the shoulder become a participant in this, but not being the initiator of the motion. So by reaching with the elbow, reaching with the fingers, I can generate a powerful force with a minimum of muscular contraction. And so when I'm practicing this, I'm doing this, I'm reaching, and there's a point there where I just feel, I just feel the, the, the connection and, um, and I don't push it past that. So uh, one thing you can do, if you, if you have a towel handy, grab it and you just you kind of do like that, or you can just use your hands like this. So let's just, you, know, you can use either way. So let's say we're doing like this, we're gonna pull in the opposite direction. In this way, you, you're gonna do like an isometric exercise and just use your muscles to do that. You want to feel that and feel what that feels like to, to pull that apart. And just notice what happens in your body as you do that. Notice the tension in your shoulders and, and in your back and, and in your arms, and then let that go. And now bring your hands up. And this time you're going to remember what that felt like, only you remember pulling that apart, the feeling of that, but this time you're, you're not using the muscles. You're not, not activating that. This time just feel yourself reaching with your elbows and then let that go. And you let your arm settle down a little bit. Now you bring your hands up 
and this time you just have that memory and now let the hands go so they're not pulling apart but still keep that memory still keep that that idea of pulling them apart and notice any muscular tension in the shoulders or whatever and just let that go release and just reach with the elbows as you do that and let that go so you can feel there that we can get to that place without the muscular tension so now if you just take your left arm you reach with the elbow you reach with the finger so there's they're extending outward you're opening the shoulder joint so you will feel something in your shoulder but it's not going to be muscular tension you're just going to be the the minimum amount of of effort it takes to keep your arm from falling and you reach with the elbow with the minimum amount of effort it takes to lengthen and lengthen the arm and open the shoulder and you reach with the finger and just feel that as like lengthening out here and you also want to feel reaching out with the wrist and just feel into that arm and notice the energy that's getting generated in that arm because we've got some chin going on here we're we're reaching, we're activating the body using the least amount of muscular uh, effort, but maximizing the power just by creating a structure and allowing the energy to move through that structure. So it's very similar to the you know, my frequent use of the garden hose as a uh, as as a uh, a simile there what uh, it when the garden hose is full of water and the flow is strong that it gets kind of rigid that has a, a, a you know, becomes very full so we want to have the arm full but at the same time it's not tense so and then relax that so we have that chin going in that direction now get the other hand and reach with the elbow, reach with the finger, reach with the wrist. And feel that activated. This is your right arm now, and you're reaching to the right. And you're opening the shoulder joint, using the least amount of effort necessary to hold the arm up and feeling the wrist, feeling the fingers, feeling the elbow, feeling the shoulder, feeling the shoulder opening. So it's definitely a participant in this activity, but it's not doing the work. It's not initiating the movement. And bring that down. So we get the, those two, two very different, gins there they're actually very similar but they're being applied two different directions we bring them together and i bring my towel out here and i point i reach my reach my elbows reach my fingers reach my wrists and i just want to take it up to the point where uh, i feel it hot and that way the tensegrity of the structure is activated so we have that supple strength and we also have the energy and you can actually feel the energy moving through the towel at this point there is a it becomes part of the circuit and if we can add in the three pillars, then we can we can get even more going on there and relax that. So what happens whenever we get these two together, moving in opposite directions, these poles in opposition, we generate an, an energy flow that is 
emergent. It is something which wasn't there before. And it happens as a result of bringing these two different things together. There is an alchemy that occurs whenever you do that. So the energy that gets created, the gin that gets created is very different than this gin and this gin. It's those two gins together. And we have, we have splitting energy. Split means to kind of pull apart or uh, another translation for it is rending. It's like you're, you're ripping a, a piece of cloth or something or rip. And, and so that, that rending energy that pulling is its own distinct quality of, of gin. And in, we see it in the Taiji form. You can see it pretty much in every move somewhere, but it's most vividly demonstrated, say, in a posture like diagonal flying, where you're opening up big time, or high pat on the horse, where it's, it's, a, it's a, like a, a shortened version of the of the diagonal flying where you're pulling with one hand, reaching with the other and feeling the connection between the two. If you try to do that independently, it doesn't work. If you try to do it muscularly, it doesn't work. But if you feel them as both terminals in the same circuit, then you've got, you've got big time gin. And uh, another one is uh, um, white crane spreads wings. There's another posture where one hand is going up, the other hand is going down. And we have this, this quality going there of this opening that, that comes with that. So being able to recognize that and building it and constructing it by consciously activating the separate gins and bringing them together so that it's all one, one thing that is working in opposition and, and therefore amplifying the chi flow, uh, it creates this very powerful uh, composite gin, which is, uh, has its own quality, its own uh, identity. So, uh, Let's uh, let's play with a few of those, and I'll talk you through it. And pretend like it's new to you. I, I mean, a lot of you have done these things for decades, and it's still, you know. So there's there's certain ideas about it, but I just want you to get the feeling of it anew because it's something that can be tested. It's it whether it's active or not. And it's really dramatic whenever you get it right. And you can think you have it, oh yeah, yeah, I got this. Yeah, yeah. so just like this thing here. It's just, I just go into the shape and it works. No, you need, there's, there's, a, it's, there's a light switch that goes on. There's a, you know, there's a point where, where the circuit is, is completed and like, whoa, the energy just, just magnifies dramatically. And if, um, if you don't have both pieces of the puzzle, both arms doing their own separate gins, then you're not gonna get the, the composite there. So let's, uh, let's play around with that a little bit. Let's start by getting into our, um, our three pillars, because that's what we do. So feel the balls of your feet. Feel the floor with your toes. Feel the floor with your heels. And really focus on the balls. That's where the, the bullseye is. And reach with the crown of your head. Tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate. And 
Relax your lower back and drop your coccyx. Feel the opposition between the Weilu and the Niwan. So the Weilu at the coccyx, the Niwan at the crown of your head. Feel your spine lengthening. We're having that poles in opposition there. Reach with the clavicular notch. So as if you're gonna touch the ceiling with the clavicular notch and open your chest and open your shoulders. Reach with your elbows very slightly, just enough to get a slight roundedness to the arms. Point your index fingers. Feel the energetic coherence. And release your quad. Spiral down, turn. Just get that very soon quad. And we're opening the, we're Unkinking the hose at the hips, at the, at the base of the skull, and at the shoulders. So we're gonna go through some simple movements that gives you an opportunity to focus on what's going on inside. So the simplicity of the movements allows the mind to free up and really focus on what's going on. And let's start with your left arm. So set your left elbow region. And when you do that, you're opening the shoulder joint. You're reaching out with the left elbow. Now with your left wrist, reach so you're and rotate your forearm you're reaching with the left wrist now reach with the fingers feel into your body feel the connection from your fingers through your feet feel a Completed circuit there. Feel that elbow, feel the wrist, feel the fingers. Open the joint, open the shoulder joint. Feel the chin in that left arm. As you can bring it down, reach down with the elbow, the wrist, fingers. And feel the difference between your left arm and your right arm. Feel the activity that's going on, the stillness, the emotion and stillness in your left hand. Feel your right hand, feel the point of your right index finger, feel the energetic coherence there. Set your right elbow, open up the shoulder joint. Reach with the wrist, fingers are relaxed. You're reaching with the wrist as you rotate your forearm. Reach with the fingers. Feel your elbow, reach with your elbow again, reach with your wrist again. 
fingers and keep renewing that process because you may find it going out of your awareness. Feel the gin. Feel the energy. Feel the energy working through the body to express itself through the body, expanding and opening. And reach down with your elbow, your wrist, your fingers. Now feel the activity in your right hand. And feel both hands, and feel the completed circuit there. Now bring, set your left elbow, bring your right wrist up. And turn and reach out. Feel that extension. Feel Feel the connection all the way from your fingers through your feet and into the earth. Reach with the crown of your head and feel the, the tensegrity, creating that whole body energetic connection. And bring your right hand. So set your right elbow, wrist comes up. Rotate. and reach with your right hand, open. This would be better if you rotate that right palm down. So reaching with the fingers and feel the connection between the two. Feel those poles in opposition. Now bring them together, rotate your left palm down, bring your hands together. Step out with your left foot, push your left knee out, sink into the, the left quad, barreling down to the right. Now reach with your left elbow. Reach with your right elbow. Feel those poles in opposition. Slowly separate. Feel the connection between the two. Feel the, like you're pulling taffy, your, your, uh, your, there's some resistance or a, uh, a rubber band between the two. Feel that connection between the two. Bow down to the left, bring your right hand in, pivot on your right heel and feel the ball of your right foot, set your right knee, spiral down to the left. So you're loading up the right claw and rotate. Feel your right elbow, your right wrist, feel your left elbow. Your left elbow is going to the left, your right elbow going to the right. 
And as you turn, reaching with the elbows, reaching with the wrists, you feel that separation there. In some, in some forms, this is diagonal flying. So we're opening. Feel the shoulders participating in this to unify the structure, but not to drive it. Trial down to the right. Bring your left foot in. Do the ball of the right foot. Set the right knee, spiral down to the right. Set the left elbow. Reach with the left wrist, coming up. Right elbow reaches down. Right wrist reaches down. Feel the two poles in opposition. And open. Left hand up, right hand down. Feel the connection between the two. Feel the connection between your hands and your feet. Feel your head, crown reaching up. Step back. The ball set the left knee spiral down to the left. Step into the right foot. Right elbow, feel that. Opening the right shoulder. Right wrist coming up. Left elbow, left wrist. Feel all these at the same time. Activating. Oh, I'm going the wrong way here. I want to go with my left hand. There we go. So left hand up, right hand down. There we go. Have that. Feel that connection. Hands come down and step in. That's how we build a splitting energy. It's that awareness that comes to the different component parts that allows for the energetic connection, allows for an efficiency of movement that permits us to, to shift out of our primitive bodily responses and into something which is a little more interesting. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to do the First part of the Wudong Mountain Tai Tai Yi Wuxing Chuan, because it has a lot of splitting energy in that. And so we can kind of really dwell on that as we, we play around with that. Actually, before we do that, I'd like to check and see if there are any questions on any of this so that we can, before we go forward. So maybe somebody has, uh, before, we, uh, before we go forward there, anybody? All this making sense is good. Good, 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 good. Keep going, keep going. Okay, all right, we'll keep going. Okay, so we're gonna do the Wudong Mountain Tai Yi, Wu Xing Chen. So this is, uh, we're just gonna do the first few moves of it, but it's, there's, there's a lot of opportunity. I'll turn my back to you so you can follow along. And, um, So feel your three pillars, really establish those consciously. And 
Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, turn to the right. Step out. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, turn to the left. Pivot on your right heel. Sink. Reach with your elbows rounded and gather the energy. Carry up the chest high. Reach with the elbows. Open the shoulder joints. Reach with the wrists. Reach with the fingers. Reach with the crown of your head. Reach with your clavicular notch. Feel the expansiveness. Feel the ball, set the knees, sink. Rotate your forearms so the palms face forward. Now we're gonna to begin to split. Feel your elbows. And slowly separate your hands. Reach with the wrists. Feel the arms moving. Feel the energy splitting. We're separating the yin and yang. Feel the connective tissue being lengthened, creating that tensegrity. Spiral down to the left, turn to the right. Sink into your left claw circle. With your right hand, step in. out on an angle, right ball, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, reach with your right elbow, rotate your forearm. And now we're going to split energy here between the left hand and the right, Emmer. Right hand is yang, left hand is yin. Feel that connection through your arms, through your back, connecting your fingers, reach the whole system is connected up. Pivot on your left heel, left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. So you're loading up that left claw, reach with your left elbow, opening the left shoulder, reach with your right elbow, opening the right shoulder. Feel the split. And rotate. Pivot on your right heel. Feel the energy, the poles in opposition. Pivot on your right heel. Right ball, set the right knee. Spiral down to the left. You're loading up the right claw, set your right elbow. Reach, step in with your left foot. Feel the poles in opposition. Your right hand is reaching up and out. Your left hand is reaching in the opposite direction. Step with the left foot, left ball, set the left knee, set the left elbow. Turn, reach with the left wrist, feel your right elbow, your right wrist. Feel the poles in opposition.
Give it on your right heel. Right ball is set the right knee, spiral down to the left. You're loading up the right claw. Set your right elbow. Turn. Feel your right wrist. Feel your left elbow and your left wrist and turn. Feel the poles in opposition. Give it on your left heel, left elbow. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Left elbow, right elbow. Left wrist, right wrist. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the left. Right leg comes in, right hand. Feel the poles in opposition here. Left hand reaching up, right hand reaching down and out. Step with the left, the right foot. To the ball of the right foot, push your right knee forward, set that. Spiral down to the left. You're loading up the, the right leg now. Reach with your right elbow. Right wrist, left elbow, left wrist, and turn. Left hand comes around. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Pivot on your turn and pivot on your right heel. Reach with your elbows, reach with your wrists, reach with the crown of your head. Feel the energy. Sink, rotate your forearms, palms out. Hands come down. Feel your fingers, feel your wrists, feel your elbows, feel your shoulders, feel the crown of your head, feel the balls of your feet, your knees, your coccyx. Tune into all that and then let it all go. Just allow yourself to dissolve into the mystery. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left. Step in. Deep breath. Disappear the chi, dissolve into the mist, into the emptiness.
Take the seat, please. Ah. How'd that go? Good, 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 good. Ah, oh, yes. Ah. Cool. Uh, Scott. Um, so I definitely feel my biceps feel like they're doing, feel like they got a bit of a workout. Not like okay. sore, but is that just from doing something they're not used to doing or? I think so. I think so. It's like, you know, you're, you're asking them, you're elongating your, your, your arms. And, and if they're used to contracting, then you're saying, ah, we're going the other direction now. So, uh, so I think you're getting a little more uh, circulation going in, in that. And it's also like lengthening some of the connective tissue because the fascia will, will tend to make these hydrogen bonds, which will will inhibit your motion based on patterns of behavior. So it, your body says it wants to be economical. So it says, oh, you're doing this thing over and over again. So we're just going to slap some glue on this. And, and so you're, <laughs> you're kind of stuck in this, uh, you know, you're, you're, we have a, uh, a predictable structure to do this thing you like to do. But now we're saying, hey, let's do something different. And uh, it's, oh, wait a minute, we have to, but we have this structure that we built for you. <laughs> so now it's like ah we're kind of ripping these things apart as we uh as we move through them these we're shaking up these hydrogen bonds and and kind of separating them out you're undoing the 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 glue that sticks the fascia together i didn't i didn't when, when you had us in the beginning just sitting you know reaching i thought my arms were going to touch the floor and it just kept getting, getting feel like they were getting <laughs> longer you know i could definitely feel the joints getting Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. It that was great. really weird. <laughs> it, it, it gets, it gets crazy whenever you, you start to let go of that. Cause there's, it gets, we get our, our habitual posture that we hold things in a certain shape. And uh, when we start to let go of that, it's like, we're, we've become Mr. Fantastic. Stretch Armstrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Get out the roof and see. Cool. So you can see how this really and and throughout the whole form, you know, whatever form you do, there are lots of little moments where that occurs. Like say, a, you know, and say I'm doing William Chen's form, and I'm doing a doing a ward off left, right, and I'm here. I am. Ah, I'm having Pong Jin with my left arm. What am I doing? My right hand is pulling down and in, so and that's lujin, which is it's 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 a different quality of energy. The predominant energy of the posture is ward off, and hence it gets its name ward off. But in that, there's also this yin posture that uh, uh, that pulls down. So we're getting these poles in opposition. So we have this the the grass sparrow's tail uh, quality of the uh, of the, the those first few moves where there's ah oh, we're we're pulling so oftentimes you say oh you just want to just kind of just just kind of flow through that but it doesn't really give you anything if you just if you just relax and and, and make the movement you need to have the intention of expansion here and retreat here to get the uh, effectiveness of, of that posture. So that uh, the, the, the poles in opposition is what gives it its chin. At least from my, uh, from my experience, that, that's, that's what I, the way I would describe it. It seems to, seems to hold up, seems to test out okay. Well, anybody else have any thoughts? Um, Valerie. Well, as I've told you, um, at least at one point, I've 
got some funky stuff going on in my shoulder. And so every time, you know, I would involve more muscle up in the shoulder, it would definitely, you know, lights would flash and all kinds of stuff would, you know, ah! um, yeah. but I was able to, you know, okay, then reach more with either the wrist or the elbow and get soon with that. But I felt extremely full, you know, I mean, you know, there's that one part of my brain that that doesn't compute. <laughs> it's like, no, the muscle needs to be involved for you to feel strong and, you know, full. And, you know, it was, what is that phrase? Proof is in the pudding. You know, it was like, no, I was as full as I could be. And I was forced into opening the shoulders, you know, and letting go of that. So there was no pain, but consequently there was more gin. So, yay. Right. Yay. And, and the point you made there about the lights going off is, I think, really important because um, the sensitivity to when that shoulder joint is getting, the muscles in that area are getting engaged. You know, it, alertness to that is really important for this, this whole thing because it's that's a fairly high level of skill to get to that point, to be able to recognize that, oh yeah, I am activating my shoulders now. I am, because most people are, are quite unconscious of that entirely. And even people who've been relaxing their shoulders for decades, if you just add a tiny little bit of resistance to, to the arm, <clears throat> suddenly game changer, they immediately revert back to primitive, mechanism to be able to do that and to override and say oh with resistance can i still release the shoulder and activate the gin and so that's the the challenge here and so i i mentioned it before but let me just re reiterate a way to practice this is you get a towel or a stick or something like that where you can hold on to it and <laughs> 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 no, or Lynn no. if, if it, <laughs> and uh, and you you practice filling you extend until you feel oh that's enough that's where I'm full now I've engaged my connective tissue system if I go any more I'm going to have to tense up my muscles. So I, that is my, that's my, my point. That's my sweet spot. If I do less than that, if the, if I'm like here, like this, nothing's happening, but ah, here, ah, so there's the minimum you can get to where you say, oh, that's, that's, it's taught now. It's, we have tensegrity. So the, the key here is, is engaging the tensegrity and finding that that sweet spot of where is the maximum. So you get a curve of of nothing to too much, and and so finding that the that the fat of the bell curve there is is the objective in in the exercise. And you can do this with anything. This is something that when I was training for tournaments, I would do. I'd, I'd just go up against a wall, and I would I would use that as, as, you know, to test, you know, to, to work on my Pong Jin to get that so that I can release my shoulder and reach with my elbow and blah, 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 that kind of thing. So we're taking this another step and we're saying a, a step further and we're saying two gins, left hand, right hand, two separate gins, but we're, we're bringing them together. And how do we do it? We get, we get a little prop here to make that happen. It's even better if you have a if you have a Lynn to practice on, and then you can, uh, <laughs> you can, you can then have some resistance, and you can have someone to, you know, hold that and say, you know, so like, let's say I'm, I'm, um, I'm gonna come over here and, and just, uh, just do that. So the be a dummy. Be, be a dummy. So I'll just uh, not be a dummy, but you're gonna, you're gonna just reach over here. So if if I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm splitting here. And if I'm trying to do it from my shoulder, 
nothing's happening, right? But if I can reach with my elbow, something's happening, right? So if reaching with both elbows and, and then we have we have something. You have you have Jen. So we turn that around and, and we do it with Maria here. So she's she's doing like you doing like a separating separating the hands there like that. So if she if she if I'm if I'm giving her some resistance here, nothing's going on. So she has to reach with that elbow, reach with this elbow, right? And then she is able to able to generate internal power. And so it, it's, it's much better, thank you. It's much better if you have a partner so you can, you can get that actual resistance and you can see, oh, okay, this, when do I flip over into the more primitive system and be able to make a note? So, so like Valerie's idea with the shoulder, it's like the red light goes on. It's like, that, ah, dude, you're back into Lee now. You're back into muscle. It's not working because it doesn't work if you try to do with muscles because his shoulders are just not that strong for most of us. So, but the gin is because you're not just using shoulders, you're using the whole, the whole system. Cool. Uh, anybody else? Any other? Scott? Uh, I have something completely unrelated if anybody, if any, unless anybody else has a something from a previous so um, you know how you had, um, you know how you had had us doing like uh, you know feel your right knee with your left hand and feel yeah. your right foot and all that. Uh -huh. Well, I tried um, feeling my way Lou with my knee one and then my knee one with my way Lou. Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> Kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> Need the supervision of a doctor, I think, because <laughs> that's, that's, that's oh, that's very cool. Yeah, oh, okay. it pulls you right up. Yeah, no, that, that that's a great idea. That's, yeah. that's uh, <laughs> an advanced meditation skill. Uh, very cool, Valerie. Um, something also that I noted that adding in the uh, reaching with the clavicular notch. Um, added another dimension also to that sense of fullness, you know, that filling. Um, so, yay. I mean, that was just, that was good. I liked Great. it. Great. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Well, thank you all so much. Uh, love you all. Thank you, thank Maria. You. That was magnificent. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Yeah. Thank you.